right out there is 6th Street. 6th Street runs right in front of our building here for the, the blind center. Yeah, that's a lot. It goes all the way downtown. It goes get, all the way downtown. Get on, get on that thing and just take a right and you go out the gate and go. It takes you right downtown. Okay. Yeah, here's a parking lot out in front of building 30. And right over there is my room. It's the smaller vertical window next to the rectangular window. The rectangular window is the gym exercise room. This is building number 30. And I'm standing out here in the front parking lot. That's the tall one right there, yeah. That's the tall one. That's the elevator tower, right? Uh huh. The real tall one is the outside of the building. They have stuff on the third floor. Yeah. As a matter of fact, the roof is kind of a nice area. It's all open and up there. And I was up on the third floor today for the first time. Sure, yeah. yeah. It's not. It's nice up there. I call it the roof, you know. Yeah. The sun's on it. Yeah, that's a pretty nice picture. I say the back yeah. of the building is almost as pretty as the front. This is a friend of mine right here. This is Wayne. Yeah. This is blind leading the blind. Yeah, we're the, the blind leading the blind. But he sees better than I do, so I'm following him today. There's a lot of that going on here. <laughs> yeah. That's the smoke shack right over there. That's where everybody goes to smoke, right over there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't smoke. I quit years ago. But that's where all the smokers go. Oh, okay. Right over there. They call it the smoke shack. This is the main parking lot out front here. And this is the main entrance door to building 30, where my room is, right here. Let's go inside and go down to my room now. This is the lobby right here where we meat go out on a trip like out to dinner fish fries and hamburger cookouts and whatnot lobby's located right here close to the nurses station right straight over there is the elevator this long hallway is about 250 feet long from the north end down to the south end. I know one thing for sure, it's a long walk from one end to the other. <laughs> right, anyone My room's down here at the very south end of the hall. One thing about it, you get plenty of walking while you're here. Plenty of exercising. Now I'm down at the 
south end of the building. And this is my room right here. We have 30 bedrooms here on the first floor. That's looking north. And I'm on the very south end right here. And I'm in room number 109. Right there. Let's go in and Check it out. Okay, this is my bedroom. The light switch right here is a rheostat kind. You can turn it all the way down to dim the lights, or you can just turn them off. Watch it up there dim them down or you can brighten them up I keep it set at about three quarters yeah, right about there and right here's the thermostat I keep my room set at 73 degrees that's the way I like it and right here this little unit on the wall right there is in case you have a medical emergency, you can hit that button and the nurses will be right here. And I know because I've already accidentally hit that button. They were here in about 15 seconds. <laughs> but they didn't get mad at me. They said it happens all the time. Okay. Around the corner here. I have a lighted closet. Turn the light on. And in the closet, we have hangers and a shelf up there. Up there on the shelf, they furnish you with plenty of toilet paper. There's my little travel bag, my boonie hat, and my pajamas up there. And on the hanger here, I've got my shoulder bag hanging there and I've got my dirty clothes bag hanging right there and I have several shirts hanging up and back there in the corner is my empty luggage back there and from the lighted closet went over this way they give you a spare chair, so if you have any company down here, you'll have a place to sit. And over here, they furnish you with a four drawer chest of drawers right there. That top drawer locks, so you can keep any valuables in there. Keep it locked up. And up here on top of my Dr. Peppers, they furnish you with a hat. SWBRC, Southwest Blind Rehab Center. They encourage you to wear that hat so they'll know who you are. They'll know you're one of the students here. And I checked out a radio, an FM radio, so I'd have something to listen to when I wake up in the morning or before I go to bed at night because these rooms don't have any televisions. And they say they don't want any TVs in these rooms. They also furnish you with a safety razor and shaving cream, and they furnish you with a toothbrush and toothpaste. And over here to the left is a small writing desk with a chair on rollers right there, and a gooseneck lamp. The light's adjustable on it. There's my Dr. Pepper and cup of ice right there. They give you a pill dispenser right there that you put your pills in that you have to take every day. And over here is a telephone. It's got the large numbers on it so you can see them real easy. 
and there's a little small answer machine right next to it. You can make local phone calls, but you cannot make long distance calls. Your spouse or friends can make a long distance call in. They can call you. And I would say the best time to receive a phone call from outside would be in the evenings or on the weekends when you're not taking any classes. And down there is a trash can. And over here is a nightstand with one drawer and a storage compartment down there. And on top is a ice bucket. They've got ice up there in the dining room. So you can bring ice down here to your room. And they furnish you with Kleenex and styrofoam cups and bottled water. They want you to drink plenty of water because this is an arid climate out here. They say you can become dehydrated very easily. And right there is a bed. It's a small bed, but it's, it's comfortable. I think they call this a twin bed, but I call it just a half of a bed. <laughs> and right up there is a cord hanging down with an emergency button on the end of it. So if you ever have a medical emergency, just push that button and they will be right here to help you. The nursing station's just up the hallway, not very far. And over here is the bathroom. Now there's the trash can. And here's the shower. It's a big shower. It's easy to step into the shower. And there's a, an emergency button in there too in case you was to have a medical problem or if you slip and fell or whatever. Push that button and they'll be right here. The shower head is one of those hand operated wands and it does not put out very much water. I guess out here in this arid climate in the desert they want to conserve water. So you have to jump around in that shower to, to get wet. <laughs> that may be why they furnish such small towels because they already know you're not going to get very wet. <laughs> says on there, it says, VA property not for sale. I don't know anybody who'd want to buy one of those towels anyway. <laughs> Down here is the toilet, right there. Over here is the sink. And there's a 110 volt outlet there for your hair dryer or your electric shaver or, or whatever. And up there is plenty of wash rags. And here's a mirror. And there's your photographer. My gosh, ain't he ugly. Man, he looks like he needs some rehabilitation on his looks. <laughs> and y'all didn't even know I was legally blind. I have a condition called retinitis pigmentosa tunnel vision. I have a 95% loss of vision in both eyes. And that's why I'm here at the VA's Southwest Rehabilitation Center for the Blind. They're teaching me how to cope with day-to-day -day living. And on behalf of all blind veterans everywhere, thank you VA for providing this school to help us blind veterans learn how to cope with everyday life. Thank you very much. Around my neck on this necklace is my key and a whistle that they gave me. So if I ever get lost, wandering around, or if I ever fall down, or whatever, I can just blow this whistle. They'll come a-running. Or at least I hope they do.
And right over here on the end of the hallway is the exercise room. You'll have to take a physical with the nurses here to get their official okie dokie before you can use the exercise room. They want to make sure you're physically able before you exert yourself. And right over there is a vending machine. You can buy soft drinks, chips, cookies, all sorts of things. This is it. This is the exercise room. Okay, right here is the laundry room that we use. The washing is free of charge. You have to furnish your own soap. Right here they have two washers and two dryers. And then over here are several bins for throwing in your dirty towels and wash rags and, and dirty bed sheets. This is it, this is the laundry room. And this right here is the day room. They have a television here. We can come and watch TV anytime we want to because our rooms don't have a television. And they said they don't want any televisions in our room because it may disturb the neighbors. The walls are very thin. This is it. This is the day room. If you want to watch TV, this is where you go, right here. This is our mess hall, or dining room, where we eat three meals every day. Breakfast, lunch, and supper. And we have a TV in here. This is it, it's where we eat. Right over here we have an ice machine and water machine for drinking water and orange juice, apple juice, mango juice, and some sort of a strawberry juice. Plenty of cups, coffee, just about anything you want over here. And the food here is pretty good. You have a dietitian on staff that watches what you eat every day. He wants to make sure you eat your peas and carrots and spinach. <laughs> he has a hard time with some of us older fellas making us eat that stuff. But we do anyway just to keep everybody happy. <laughs> Dining room, right here.
<laughs> you must be eating the pudding. I am. <laughs> it's tapioca pudding. It's not like I can tell what you're eating. Mm. I'm just trying to keep you in focus or in the, mm -hmm. in the square. Wow. It's good stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah, good stuff. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Wish I could play that well. We're here in the dining room at six o'clock and we got the Salvation Army kids here painting t shirts for us. I heard they're pretty good. Oh, that guy don't even know. No, 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 no. Is this the SWBRC? Yeah. Oh, you got two. You got the best two. You I want the best artist doing mine. Are you the Are you the best artist? Huh? <laughs> How many kids we got here tonight? Do black hair. Eight. We got eight kids here from the Salvation Army. And they're painting us t-shirts. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> she's telling me, that I think she's hinting for me to shut up so she can draw. I guess she draws it on there first and then paints it. I asked her to do me a sombrero and a sequoia cactus and the sun and then put my name up there. I heard she's pretty good. This is Friday, and we're here at the 
American Legion Hall here in Tucson at a fish fry. But I had chicken strips and it was delicious. This is Saturday. It's about nine in the morning, and we've driven down here to Green Valley, Arizona. We're very close to the to the border of Mexico. We're here at the American Legion Hall, having breakfast, pancakes, and bacon and sausage. Orange juice, and it's really good too. Yeah, don't worry about it. Put too much on that. Can't tell you, but I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, right here is the cantina. That's where they sell snacks and drinks yeah. and clocks and all sorts of well, mouthwash, toothpaste. I bought my soap for the, for the washing machines in there. Yeah, they, you can buy your laundry detergent there. Yeah. And yeah. They're closed today. This is a Sunday. Yeah, and they're open, uh, they're open 8 to 2, I think, on Saturday. Okay. And everything else is closed. This little thing is open 8 to 2 Saturday. And during the week, it's open. Yeah, and from the cantina back the other way is about what would you say that is? How far would you say that is, Wayne? To the to where we go through the door? About two hundred feet. At least that. Yes. About two or three hundred feet from the cantina to the blind center. To the blind center where we stay. That's building thirty down that walkway there, and we're looking south, looking this way from the cantina here. And then from there, right out there is the Rose Garden that the vets like to come out and walk around on occasion. There we go. This is it. And this right here, all courtyard, all the way around. This it. is all courtyard. It's called the rose garden. And this walk goes all the way around it. These are all the roses that we're, we're standing here to right in front of you, and then uh -huh. on your backside. Yeah. It goes around the outside perimeter, right up by the uh, the walkway that surrounds this place. That's a chapel over there. That's a chapel where we go to church, yep. right over there. A lot of the blind veterans like to come out here and just walk around this rose garden. Yeah, so in the evenings end, and weekends. That's where the uh, that's where the well, bell is, and that's where you hear colors in the morning if you're oh, outside. Oh, that's the bell tower. Yeah, and they play colors and you hear. Yeah, it there it is. That's the bell tower. Yeah. yeah. That bell tower goes off. What, Wayne? Every thirty minutes, it makes a yeah, dawn. Every fifteen. For every fifteen minutes. And on the hour, it chimes the hour. Yeah. And uh, it'll go off while we're out here. I'm sure. Wayne was telling me a while ago that. That he was told these palmetto trees here. Straight up. Yeah, Wayne's telling me this palmetto tree is 
He was told as over 100 years old. Man, it, it goes way up there. Your arm will be straight up in the air. Yeah, I mean, it goes way up there. Unbelievable. Look at that. <laughs> over 100 years old. That one palmetto tree, there's four of them out here. Yeah. Ken, if you turn and put that on the bell tower, uh -huh. if you can see the bell tower, it's the tallest thing in here. I see it. There okay. it is right there. You put it at the top of the bell tower, that's the top of one of those. That's the other two at the other okay. end. Okay. And you come straight down and you can see how tall that is. It's as tall as that building is. Oh, wow. And that's got to be... The palmetto trees as high as that bell tower. Yeah. This is a really nice courtyard out here. Yes, it is. You can walk all the way around it. Well, you see roses out here? Right in here. They're all cut down right now. And they're all trimmed. They're ready to bloom. Okay. I was told they bloom year-round here if the weather's not too bad. Wow. This is also the only piece of grass I've seen on the entire place. Yeah, you, we go around in the neighborhoods, and all the front yards have cactus and rocks and everything. Rock, cactus and rocks. It's nothing like back in Oklahoma or Virginia, that's no, for sure. No. Well, we got plenty of water back here.